Hello there, and welcome back. Um, I've been doing some training with these guys because this guy's level 25, and these guys are so low level, it is seriously worth what you're getting about 30 XP just for hitting him, which is good, and about the same as you'd get for killing a random enemy. So yeah, Lester's level 10 now. Yeah, I, I pushed them all to level 10 because that was seemed reasonable. Didn't actually get any skill, I don't think, but lots of everything else. Arthur, kind of disappointing magic, disappointing skill, just sort of disappointing, but he's got huge growth rate, so it's hard, kind of hard not for him not to be disappointing. Uh, Oife didn't do anything. Lake got some stuff. Lana got a few stats, I think. Julie got a load of speed, that's kind of weird. And Fee got a load of strength and not very much skill, which is sort of the other way around from what you'd expect. But Selif is about as good about as good as Sigurd was when he started. Ulster uh, he's alright, I suppose. Johan got some skill actually, which is kinda good. Um Demo didn't get any strength, which was annoying. That's everybody. Yeah, I think that's everything now. Uh, oh yeah, I believe Selif has a talk. I'll be alright. Yeah, stay back. <laughs> Too easy a target, yeah. She's got more of aid than anyone else. Well, probably. Well, that was a riveting conversation. Ooh, what just happened? Neat! Lana got plus 3 HP. She'll probably heal you. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Kill a guy. Oh, you dodged, you horror. Oh, you horror. Well, what a waste of time. Okay, fine. Healing. Okay, Selif, come here. Dermud, come here. Arthur, go hi here. And now, he's gone up to 100 accuracy because, awesomely, her uh, charisma and leadership star bonus. There we go. Neat. Yeah, see that EXP gain? That was something like 27 EXP off a single attack. Now then, Julia, let's test out this Nosfera 2 of yours. Lord Arvish, your majesty. I'm dead. That's another level up. I wonder what I got. Speed! Magic! Yay! Healing. Oh, wow. I used quite a lot of that mend staff, didn't I? Oh, that's going to take a lot to fix. Fortunately, I think I got a decent amount of gold with both of them. That's fine. Oh, whoops. Seize! Hey, it's Lewin! Isaac has been liberated thanks to you. Lewin, you made it back already? I just got back. The world's in a very volatile stage right now. Yeah, what do you mean? Fifteen years have passed since Lord Arvis unified the continent. See, that's what I mean. Seventeen years since the Battle of Belhalla is what it said previously, and now it says fifteen years. And it's been about six months since um, since the attack on since they rose up now I believe in in game time so that's fifteen and a half years which is kind of the early days of the empire weren't actually all that bad initially Emperor Arvis applied constitutional law to govern the people yeah he made made everyone free it was a bit constrained but it was a peaceful time in Juggles history which is kind of, makes a difference but 
But several years back, the Emperor did a complete about-face. He became very rigid with his rule and adopted oppressive governing tactics, which is kind of strange when everything's going swimmingly. What? Is he just doing it because he's evil? Obviously, because that's... Yeah. Oh, the ominous Lopto sect is back. Should have changed that to Lopto, Mr. Translator Man. Silly. The influence is spread across the land. Sacrificial rituals have also reappeared. Children were being rounded up for the resurrection. Oh my god. Anyone who attempts to rise up is either enslaved or executed. <laughs> They're attempting to restore the Lopto Empire. The rumours I've heard are true after all. Isaac is better off than most places. Sounds like Danon's two sons didn't go through with any of the child hunts. No, they didn't. Uprisings have sprung up all over the continent, but not a one has gotten anywhere. None of them stand a chance against the Empire. Yeah, play Thracia 776, and you'll f discover that that's a very, very good uh, summary of how things go in that game. The world is in desperate need of a saviour. I think that you're the one, Selif, because you're the only one with holy... yeah. Well, wait a minute. I... I have nothing near what it takes! It's your duty, Selif. Yeah. But you must! Hmm. The older brother to Prince Julius. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe that's Arvis's uh, son, Julius. Yeah. The direct descendant of Saint Aim. You have an obligation to lead your crusaders and lead, rid the world of darkness. Yes, but... Selif, you do have what it takes. You just never up. You are also a bulldog. <laughs> yeah. But, hang on. Yeah, slow down a bit. I'm 50... I'm 16 years old. Oh, yeah, and the gods say so as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure, let's go with this. At least until I die horribly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sigurd left much behind for you. Most importantly, his friends. Yep. Sigurd forged of the makings of a very powerful army. Mm-hmm. Yes, I hope I can live up to that. Mm -hmm. We need to make Leon star our next destination. The son of your father's good friend Schwann took a stand against the government in Mount Stabies in dire need of some backup. We leave Isaac in the hands of the people. Better get moving. Meet up with Prince Shannon somewhere down the line. Gotcha! Saving... Nearly 200 turns, look at that. Word spread of the Liberation Army under Imperial Prince Selif, instilling a sense of courage in those still suffering under the Empire's tyrannical rule. As a result, uprisings broke out in almost every corner of the continent. However, many lacked solid leadership and were easily crushed by the Empire. Casualties at the hands of the Imperial troops were enormous. In the kingdom of Leonster in the Thracia Peninsula, Schwann's son, Prince Leif, assembled a resistance force with Finn's assistance. Hey, it's Finn! Look at that! But they suffered a crushing defeat before King Bloom's massive army, and found themselves stranded in enemy territory. The Ede Desert was administered by a Lokto sectarian named Kutasov from Ede Shrine. Stationed in the oasis town of Darna was Bramsel, a former merchant, and Jabaro, commander of a mercenary squad. Prince Ishtor and the highly revered General Liza protected Melgen Castle, while Duke Reptor's son, King Bloom, was at the capital in Ulster with his niece, a young mage named Tinny. Spot the odd one out, gentlemen. Selif was all set to depart Rivo and lead the Warriors of Light to of Isaac's liberation on a rescue mission to distant Leonster, leaving Isaac completely defenseless, but who cares, we're the heroes. Each warrior put aside his and her individual concerns as they embraced the new challenge before them. I believe this, uh, this is called Crossing the Desert, Chapter 7. It's Finn! He's back! And he's older! Yeah, how are we doing? No one survived the Ulster raid. Prince Leaf, we've lost our entire fighting force. That can't be. All along, I thought we had a chance here. I'll take that blue one myself if I have to. You're a level one, Prince. No, you won't. Prince Leaf, calm down. We're not through yet. 
Luin is sending Sir Seraph's Liberation Army our way. We must hold out till they arrive. Imperial Prince Seraph. They say he's the son of my father's good friend Sir Sigurd and Empress Deidre. I must meet him. If we team up, there may still be hope for the oppressed masses. Yeah, he's, uh... And he's your cousin, which no one ever seems to draw attention to in this. They never seem to note that they're actually close relatives, but... Well. Oh, hey, it's a, it's a woman. That's right! Besides, if we lost you now, everything the troops fought and died for would be lost too! We should abandon this castle at once and go find cover west of here near the church. Yeah, that may just be our only option right now. Alright, we need to hold out as long as we can, at least until Prince Seleph arrives. New units! Oh, what's going on over here? An Ulster. It's Bloom! Now what? Why can't you take that small castle? Are you putting in any effort out there? So here's Raptor's daughter, uh, not daughter, what am I talking about? Son, Bloom. He's Tiltier's older brother, and yeah. Yes, sir. However, we are having great difficulties breaking their line of defense, all three of them. I don't want to hear it. You go capture Leinster Castle and you do it now. Isaac's rebel army is going to be here before you know it. In about six months, maybe, but yeah. Off they go. That's a load of sword and oh and, and a mage. Meanwhile at Eid. Boy, that place was loaded, just like everyone said. This is the best haul I've had in months. This isn't the time to be talking in the view. I gotta get a move on. We off goes a thief. Wait, hang on, who's that? It's a Swordmaster. Hey, hold up a second. I don't care about anything except the sword. Hand it over. Wait a minute, it's Shannon! Forget it, you think you can just freeload off my hard work? This sword wasn't that easy to come by. You want it? You just try and get it. Hey, wait. So she's running away. Meanwhile, the treasure hall has been raided by thieves. They got the Balman. Well, what are you doing here? Get after them. But Kutasov. Shouldn't you be able to stop them in their tracks with your black magic? My book of Fenrir is missing. I have some men looking for it, but it is yet to turn up. Rest assured, we will recover the stolen goods. So here come his men. Meanwhile, oh, that's a lot of dark mages. At Revo, we have this huge desert to cross before we reach Leonsa. That's right. With the Yid shrine falling under the Lopto sect's jurisdiction, the desert is crawling. The dark mages will attack without any provocation. So the wonder people now refer to Eid Desert as the Desert of Death. It's got to make it tough for travellers. Must be some way to capture Eid Shrine. I thought you'd say that. There's a way, but it'll involve some great sacrifices. I'm prepared for that. There's no other way around. It's Shannon's still out there too. Let's just focus on gaining control of Eid. Everything else will start from there. Yes, it will. So, the chapter begins. Lots of Dark Mages. More Dark Mages. Shannon. Mercenaries with silver swords. Yormungander. Yormungander. So these guys have kind of strangely high hit. I mean, in all other games, dark magic is ridiculously inaccurate. In this one, it's ridiculously accurate and strong, but heavy. So Shannon has 44 evade at present. So. And, yeah. So he's got a reasonable chance to dodge, but if he doesn't dodge, he's in trouble. Right then. Here are our friends. I wonder if we can't send Silith through the arena. Okay, so we're back at the arena. Selef isn't quite as good as Daddy was, but he's okay. Yes, I would. Botsman, the mage. Yay! You won. Here's your prize. 1500 gold. Would I like to fight the next one? Yes, I would. It's 
the Lance Knight called Kuli... but I don't know. Neat. That's a level up. Skill, luck, defense. Okay, fine. Let's take that. Manstein the Myrmidon. Oh, yeah. Selif makes a point. I wonder who the next opponent I'm not. I haven't actually checked who all the opponents are. A lance armor. Oh, dear. Selif, mate, you're going to have to critical, I think. Yeah. Okay. Or you could you could do it in the most ridiculously flashy way possible. Of course you could. You could you could totally do that as well. Strength. Okay. Thanks, Selif. That was really helpful. Would I like to fight the next opponent? Yeah, sure. Why not? I think that's a Randok the Warrior with a silver axe. Okay. Kaboom. Well, that saved time. I'm not sure what he's actually operating under in terms of... Um... Wolf, the general, with a silver... sword, okay. Ouch. Oh, for Christ's sake. Uh, no. Oh, for goodness sake! I love how flashy he is with those criticals. I just love that. For some reason, I love that. Oh, Selif, you disappoint me. Even so... Selif is now in the money, as it were. Yeah, look at that. He's a talk with Shannon as well. So yeah, I'm not sure how Selif is supposed to be there. This looks like a very disappointing Selif, as far as I'm concerned. Sigurd looked a lot better than that. Uh, his, when he was level 14, but... Anyway, um... Briefly, before we go, because I need some time to... I need to pad out this a little bit. Shannon will talk to Patty. Is there anywhere here that... Uh, no there isn't. Okay, fine. Shannon, talk. Yeah, get your hands off me. Yeah, just return the sword! It's been in my family for generations. It's the Dubai Balmung! Yeah, what was the holy filling of Jade doing in Yeed? It was taken off my father. He was killed during Isaac's war with Granville. I just found out recently that it was being kept here, so I came to get it back. You're not Prince Shannon of Isaac, are you? Yes, I am. That's why I'm trying to get... Really? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! I've been admired for so long. I was dreaming, but never did I... I just can't believe it, I must be dreaming. Yes, sword, dark mages. The power! Holy weapon! So yeah, this is Shannon. He now has the Divine Balmung. He now has 90 evade. So they have a 16% chance to hit him. Everyone has a 16% chance to hit him. I mean, in inevitably they're going to hit him at least once. And when that happens, Shannon is going to... Uh... But anyway, yeah, he has an es essentially 40 speed now. 48 attack. This is that's the bow. It's 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 a bit like Forcity, except it's a sword and not quite as. Uh, oh yeah, and this is Patty. I should probably uh, 
point her out. Yeah, she's all got. She is Dew's kid. I'm not entirely sure how her stats compare to. Uh... Actually, I can check that, can't I? Yeah. The average. So yeah, she's got standard strength. No one. Standard HP, standard strength, lower magic, but no one cares about magic. Standard skill, standard speed. Terrible luck, and slightly more resistance than you'd expect her to have. So yeah, she's pretty standard for Patty. All right, and she has all of Dew's stuff. We escape. Yeah, so she now she now escapes. Oh, I should also mention, okay, so she has the Defense Sword, the Wind Sword, the Slim Sword, the Sleep Sword, the Iron Sword. She also has Dew's skills, Soul and Bargain, which are good. Are very good. Just before I run out of time, Finn is still here. Unfortunately, he now only has the Iron Lance. He's basically Schwann, still. Yeah, he he, uh, he he loses all his stuff, which is why I sold it all before we left. So yeah, that that's a that's a bit disappointing actually. I wish I wish they hadn't done that. I wish he could have kept his stuff, but no, he's stuck with an iron lance. He's still got 36 attack though. Jesus, Leaf. This is Leaf. I feel like just uh, pointing this out again. This is Leaf. Unfortunately, um, his stats aren't quite as good as we would be expecting because Schwann only got to level 20, and yeah. So he's got one point less in strength, one point less in skill, two points less in speed, two points less in luck, two points less in defense, and pretty much bang on resistance and magic, which is terror bad. But it's okay, because he is going to make up those stats very, very quickly. Because he's got stats that are kind of similar to what Salif's were, when he would... Well, anyway. And finally, Nana. This is um, Ruckus's kid. She has a mend and a heal. So yeah, she has all of uh, Ruckus's stuff. Pursuit, Charm, Miracle, not bad, and an Iron Sword for some reason, I don't know why she has that, but yeah. So she basically has, uh, well she's got less HP than you'd expect, but that's fine because she's got <sighs> terrible luck, but dead on everything else. I don't know why so many of my units have such subpar luck, but that's, oh well. Miracle Sword and Earth Sword should put her in good stead. Anyway, we've got to get rid of these thieves. They're now called thieves. So, no, okay, they're mounted. Need to get rid of these guys before they take down the villages. We also need to stop the marching column of Ulster Knights. Because they're evil. I should probably point out, uh... They can... They're doing soddle to, um, yeah, they do soddle to Finn. He he is slightly more of a danger, and he is and he is he is horrible. He is deadly. I don't like him. But it's okay because Leaf has not only adept and critical, he also has the pursuit ring and the renewal ring. So he has four skills at present, which is nice. So, yeah, I think that's everything that needs to be said. Oh yeah, also Bloom. He has the Majolnir, just uh, just so you know. he. We are indeed fighting a holy weapon. <laughs> We're fighting a holy weapon this early. Okay, there's Melgen. Uh, I'm not sure when that bandit's going to start moving, but I hope it's not too soon. Okay, 
Right then, so the plan for this, for the next episode is we kill all the Dark Mages, Selif heads all the way up here, round there, round there, round there, and captures Eid, which will allow everyone else to swarm down to Melgen, and then when Selif gets here, we'll get to Melgen, and then we will push on to uh, Ulster. And hopefully, these three won't have died by then. Oh yeah, and I'll probably send Fee across the ocean to help. Because she can take care of the mages. Anyway, that's all for now. I will see you next time. Cheery bye.